Today I got a request on tying different types of wings. So I'm going to show you four or five uh, different wings and how to tie them. I, I have a long shank. This is a long streamer type hook because I'm going to tie them all on here. And first I'm just going to attach my thread. Okay, the first one I'm going to demonstrate is a barred wing and a lot of maple eyes have the call for the barred wing and this is a mallard flank but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the feather and I'm gonna pull these all back and I have them stood up and I'm gonna take one side I'm gonna pull all the barbs off the one side so I have all of the fibers together and it has a natural curve to it and I'm going to put that natural curve so they curve out away from the hook shank. I'm going to tie in the one side. I'm going to use a loose loop, pull it tight, and give it a couple more wraps to tighten it in there. And then you want to tie it more to the side of the shank. Now I'm going to take that same feather and I'm going to remove the same amount from the other side of the stem. Going to align the tips, pull them off, and gather them together. And once again, with the natural curve to the feather, I'm going to measure them up and I'm going to tie them in place. I'm going to hold them on this side of the shank this time. And I'm going to tie them in and remove the excess from the back. And you would just tie this down. Now I'm going to take the feathers that I put on the far side first and I'm going to wrap the thread around the base. I'm just going to put a couple of wraps right around the base and then I'm going to make a one turn around the hook shank. Now I'm going to grab the feathers from the other side just a couple of turns and put the wrap it around the shank after you get the couple of turns and now here we have a divided wing. Hold them up and wrap directly in front of them. And even rub the thread against the wing itself. And here we have an upright and divided wing and that is the mallard flank wing. And I'm going to move my thread up slightly. The next wing I'm going to tie is hackle tip wings. I'm going to use this grizzly hackle for the demonstration. And what I did was I cut up the hackle tip and I stood the barbels out at a 90 degree. And here we have the barbels stood out at 90 degree. Now I'm going to take my scissors then I'm going to cut along the stem and I'm going to leave it with a little crew cut so that we'll have something that looks like this and I'm going to take an, uh, the other one measured to the same length as the first and I did the same with that as with all feathers you're going to see a concave side and a convex side and we're going to place the convex sides together and place the hackle tips, line them up and place the convex sides together so that there's a natural curve in them. And we're going to hold them to the shank and we're going to tie them in right there and 
these barbs on there will give the thread something to grab onto. They're a little bit long, so I'm just going to pull them Okay, and now I lift it up and there's still a couple of crew cut ones in there and we want that. One of the problems you'll have if you don't clean the shank, the shaft or give it the crew cut, when you lift it up you're going to have hackles sticking out towards the back. And we don't want that. Now I'm going to lift them up and I'm going to put a couple of wraps right in back of them or in front if you were tying them on with the tips going forward. And I'm going to trim off the excess. And now I'm going to figure eight these hackle tips. I'm going to separate them and I'm going to hold one and I'm going to go in front of the one and in back of the other going straight down and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to go opposite. I'm going to go in back of the near one and in front of the far one. And you can do that a couple of times. And at this point, then you would continue your fly. And there is, there is the hackle tips upright and divided. And now I'm going to show you a parachute wing. If you want to have a barred hackle on the parachute, then you would use the mallard flank once again. Just get a good size clump. You want you don't want this light because these will not wrap very well. But I'm going to show you a trick on how to make it work. Okay, I have my clump of mallard, and I'm going to tie them in. right on top and I'm going to remove the excess and tie that down and now one of the problems with making a wing post with this kind of material when you go to wrap the post you want to wrap around the post being that it's soft it has a tendency to come off see you, you can see it come off one of the ways to stop that would be to take a piece of fine wire I mean fine wire and we're going to put it right in the middle of it we're going to tie that down right up to the post and I'm going to remove that excess and the fine wire isn't going to be enough to sink your dry fly and we have it right in the middle of the post and we're going to grab everything and the wire and we're going to wrap around that and the wire is going to give you a sturdy base and you're going to wrap the hackle the feather up and back down once again and now I have that big piece of wire sticking out I am simply going to trim that off Trim that off right at the top of the threads. Now you can take your hackle, and I usually take 
take enough and I always give it the crew cut all the time and I make that hackle stem that crew cut long enough that I can secure it to the shank of the hook Come up to the wing post and then wrap it up the wing post. Saw so it just slip because I was off the wire. And wrap it back down once again. And now we can just take the hackle and wind the hackle down the wing post for a parachute and I like to tie them off to the wing post itself so I'm going to wrap it a few times right underneath on top of it and then I put a couple of wraps right underneath it to pinch it in and remove it and here we have a wing post for a parachute and now for a parachute wing post using yarn this is really quite simple there's a couple of ways that you can do it you can simply just take the yarn and tie it on there or you can take the yarn and wrap it around the thread and tie it into place and secure that a few wraps and remove the excess and of course you would tie this down and then just wrap around the post and this you have a long piece of yarn so you can just grab a hold of it and wrap it up and wrap it back down once again and then you would add your feather to that and wrap it just like on the previous one and I'm going to move the thread forward and after you wrap the hackle just simply cut it to the length that you want and now the next wing I want I'm going to show you is a Comparadon wing and here I have a dyed done piece of deer hair and you want the coastal deer hair is great for Comparadon wings it's just got the right amount of uh, suppleness in it you don't want one that has a lot of thick hair you want the thinner hair thicker hair will spin of course depending on the size of the fly and the hook that you're going to use would depend how much you take but I'm going to take a section but I'm going to take it I'm going to put it inside my hair stacker and I'm going to even them out by tapping it I'm going to take it out and you can see they're all evened up in there and I'm going to tie them in with the tips going forward so I'm going to hold it in my left hand and pull them out with my right and then transfer them to my left and then I would measure the size of the wing and I'm going to trim off a lot of this off the back and now I'm going to take the wing I measured it to the size I'm gonna hold them on there 
and I'm going to give it a loose loop and pull it down. I'm going to give it another loose loop and pull it down. And you don't you want you want them to flare, but you don't want them to spin. And I'm going to secure them. And then I'm going to before I remove my fingers, I'm going to remove the excess. And I'm going to secure them the rest of the way. I'm going to wrap that, hold it so that it doesn't spin on you. I'm going to wrap the rest of the butt section down. And now I'm going to, with the thread at the at the very front, I'm going to pick them up. And I'm going to wrap right in front of them to stand them up. And this takes quite a few wraps sometimes to hold them up. And I'm getting a couple of short ones there, but I'll just trim them out of the way. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to fan it out. Sometimes it just takes their thumb to push back on them so that they are halfway around. And here we have a Comparadon wing. Now for the last style of wing that I'm going to show you, we're going, this will be a synthetic wing. Take the grocery bag and if you pull it you can see the color change. So if you have a dark black one and you want slate, like a recycled garbage bag, a regular recycled garbage bag, that's a good one to stretch to make a nice slate colored wing. This would be a blue dun color right here. And you pull it and you can see there's a different color there. Then I'm going to take the synthetic and I'm going to wrap it around the thread. holding the two wings together and I'm going to tie them in right on the top and this very long shank gives me a little bit and I'm going to wrap them in and then you can divide them figure eight through them in front of one in back of the other in back of that one and in front of the other And figure eight, figure eight. And there you have a synthetic upright and divided wing. After you wrap the hackle, you can take them and you can trim them to size. And I'm going to trim these. I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.